Hello, Internet, and welcome to Game Theory. I can't say that. Huh. Welcome back, everybody, to another character analysis. Today, we're talking about literally Satan. That's it. That's the intro. Let's go into it. I guess we should start with, as always, what do we know about the devil? Well, the devil goes by many names. Some you may have heard of. Lucifer, Beelzebub, Satan, many, many more. But I'm about to put you onto something. If you take any of those names and you put some letters in and you take some letters out and you move some letters around, you get League of Legends. And this is not a coincidence. I know a lot of you are thinking right now, no, 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 this is too evil to be true. But I implore you, try it for yourself and let me know. What results did you come up with? Because I'm, I'm pretty sure it'll spell League of Legends. Furthermore, the devil goads us into sin. Perhaps you're a good player, I mean, human being. Perhaps you're a good human being and you never verbally assault anyone. Sometimes when you log on to some specific application, I'm talking about League of Legends online, you just want to verbally assault someone, you want to hurt them from behind the safety of your own screen. And if you haven't been chat restricted as a League of Legends player, have you even played League of Legends? He can change form, he can shapeshift. This is true of many evil characters that are found within the game League of Legends itself. There's a lot of similarities here. I think you're picking up what I'm putting down. He's immortal for some reason. You look at the gameplay statistics from 2012 to 2024, League of Legends is just on an upward trend. Yeah, I think last year they had a little bit of a dip, but they still have hundreds of millions of players. Now, Satan also has reality warping powers. In this case, it's particularly time manipulation. And you know what I mean. Sometimes you'll come back from work or school, it's 7 p.m., you've eaten dinner, and you click a single button on your computer. Before you know it, it's 10.30 p.m., 11 p.m., you have to go to sleep and you want to bash your head against a wall. Not only did he manipulate your thoughts into wanting to bash your head against the wall, you've already wasted hours of your time without knowing where it went. And finally, the devil's always there and the devil's always watching. Whatever you're doing on your computer, in that taskbar, in that start bar, on your desktop, there's that little fucking icon. That little, that little L. That's looking at you from the corner of its eye, saying, click me. Wait a minute, you might be saying. Luke, are you suggesting that League of Legends, the game, the MOBA, is equivalent to the devil himself? Yes, that is exactly what I'm suggesting. And some of you may not believe me yet, but I raise you this. Would a game that is not the devil feature this? Or would it feature something like this? This is the de facto third wind brother, in, in my opinion, if you ask me. If, you, if you're not sold yet, would it feature this? And there are so many features of this game that make me think that it is the devil itself, outside of even just the players itself, because, <laughs> I mean, the players themselves. I could have done this. Now, we have to go over the similarities to Hell and the similarities to Summoner Rift, aka League of Legends, because you'll be shocked to see that there is a lot. First of all, in Hell, the torturing of souls are self-imposed, much like you when you click League of Legends. Next, there are many other sufferers and players. I think in Hell, you would see seas and seas of people not wanting to be there. That is exactly what happens when you load into a game of Summoner's Rift. I know that's what happens when I load into a game of Summoner's Rift. I immediately think to myself, why? Why am I here? But it's okay, we've got some good ones coming up because climbing out is impossible. You've heard of the term ELO Hell. Hell is in the is in the name for a fucking reason. You silver ass player. I know, you're I'm looking at you. You might even be bronze. You can actually find Toji Fushiguro there. And Toji is in hell because he did murder an innocent teenage girl. But he's also uh, not very good at league, apparently, because he's silver. And now I can say that because I peaked diamond and that's it, I'm the best. You'll probably go insane eventually if you continue playing this game, uh, much like you might go insane after spending an eternity in hell. Sometimes League of Legends games themselves seem like an eternity. You know when you want to queue into like a quick ARAM and then all of a sudden it's like a melee fiesta no one wants to go in and it's 55 minutes long because they just don't want to end the game? League. So if League is the devil, would you lose? Nah, I'd win. So you're telling me there's hope. No, hope is not lost because I'm giving you Luca's detailed plan to jailbreak you out of hell. You just have to follow these steps to a T. One, I need you to enter your mind palace and you have to access your lol memories. I want you to smell who you're playing, what you're feeling. I want you to feel the tactile feel of your mouse. 
And then I want you to think about all the bullshit champs you've lost to in your life, in, in your career of League of Legends. Then I want you to pick one of them. That is your new main, okay? For this example, we pick Trindamir. I want you to scour the internet for guides and for tips. For Trindamir, for instance, you really just need to learn to click R before you die. I've seen Trindamirs not do this. You probably don't do this. I want you to open practice tool and get really, really good. Hyperbolic time chamber type beat. I want you to go into a Norman win, and then this is very, very important. You need to repeat this 10 times in a row. If you don't do this, the jailbreak plan will not work. Then I want you to hop into a rank with your new skills. You can do this solo or duo. I recommend you doing it solo because the experience is more miserable. Here's the plan part two. This is what, we're, this is what we really get to. I want you to lose the game because that's going to happen inevitably after you're already a god at Trindamir or whatever champion you've decided. And then alternate staring at the defeat screen and your wall. And I want you to do this for one set of 10 minutes, okay? It's really going to fatigue your brain, eye, and soul, really. You're, you're going to hate yourself. However, it will bring you to the point of wanting to rid yourself of League. Now, there's two ways to do this. For most of you, I want you to uninstall, but if you are Toji Fushiguro, the player who's been silver for many seasons, I want you to break your computer. Just kidding, don't do that. We don't condone violence on this channel. So now that you've rid yourself of League, you can, you're, you're out. You can hit the gym or something. And you've completed real life Hades. You're Zagreus himself. Congratulations. In conclusion, what can we say about League of Legends? Well, Riot is gay gay and the players are Jujutsu Kaisen characters. You know this panel from Jujutsu Kaisen, you know Yuji staring into the void. This is very much what it feels like to play League. And I know, I've climbed out of hell itself. I've, I've stopped playing the game, I remember feeling like this. Because I've become Kratos since quitting. You know this meme where Kratos turns around, smiles and walks away. That's how I feel after putting down League of Legends once and for all. Until someone hits me up and says, you wanna hop on for a game? And I do so. League players know League is dog. There's a very famous meme that I'm about to put you onto. It, it's just true. League is dog water. I don't know why everyone who plays League agrees with it and continues playing it. It's a, it's a fucking cycle. Now, I need you to go back into that mind palace and imagine a future where you quit League for good. You're touching grass. You're kissing girls or guys or non-binaries. You're talking to me. You meet me on the street. We'll go out for a beer or two. Life is pretty good. But you're not going to quit, are you? Guess I'll see you in hell then. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. If you sadly have a friend who needs to hear this, send them this video. League of Legends PR team, let me hear you in the comments below. I expect nothing. I expect silence. Because there's no one left, right? Leave in the comments down below more character analyses, series, games, movies, blah 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 blah. Anything you want to see, I will put it out for you guys. Once again, thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.